Hey guys, it is day 19 of Ramadan and look how beautiful the weather is. I've just hanged out all the clothes, clothes, <laughs> clothes to dry. What is Mustafa doing? Hello Mustafa. Hi Mustafa. Mustafa's bold. How are you? Oh. And the kids are just enjoying the weather. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. One, two, go. Uh, oh no, he dropped that on your head. No, oh, oh no, kid. don't do that. So, anyways, my husband's just come back from outside, and he's bought a bunch of stuff. He's done some shopping because tomorrow I am hosting iftar for my in-laws. So we've got some charcoal sheet kebabs by Madani. These are meat, I'm guessing. Where does it say meat, babe? I have no idea. It just looks brand and I got it. Okay, never mind. We've also got some chicken, peri peri chicken goujons strips. We've got another sheet kebab. And lastly, uh, we've got a small packet of meat samosas by high quality. Oh, these are the ones Bobby had at her house. They're really nice. But anyways, we've got loads more samosas in the fridge, in our freezer from before. And I'm going to make sana, kisuri, all of the usual stuff. Can we make thingy tomorrow? We've well? also got some biscuits and stuff. And then I'm going to make a big salad. Can I make a yeah. aloo chop tomorrow with my mashed potato? Okay. Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't vlogged all day. I've been working, I've been looking after the kids. The kids are still on holiday, by the way. And I've just broken my fast. Uh, my mom gave some really yummy food, some pilaf rice and grilled chicken. I'm having a small amount of, okay, not a small, but medium amount of pilaf rice. And I'm having lots of grilled chicken. I just feel like me today this is what it looks like i'm going to add some naga pickle and this is by asma pickles she's on instagram she does amazing pickles and ghee and all sorts of really cool stuff oh she also does i think she also does um putki satnis and stuff so definitely check her out guys so i'm gonna add a small amount to start off with and See how that goes. My battery is running low. Sadly, I don't have my sister here today. Um, she didn't come today, so it's just me on my own. So it might not be as entertaining, guys. Um, but yeah, let me put some food in my mouth first because I'm starving. This is my Mm. Wow, that stuff is so spicy. Mm. Mm. Wow, that naga pickle is so spicy, honestly. Ooh. I'm sorry if you're fasting and you're watching this. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Now go see Zal. The pickle. You know what, guys? A lot of you guys think that I love spicy food, but I really don't. Um, I'm not really into spicy food and stuff 
but recently i think as i'm getting older i'm a bit more inclined like i'm more interested in trying spicy food whereas before i'd be like no thanks i don't want a chili or whatever I thought I could sit here and read out some of your comments on YouTube. So something happened, by the way. My yesterday's vlog that I posted, um, after I posted it, I realized I left, I kind of exposed my parents' address. So stupid. Um, I it, it was my fault. I was actually rushing when I was editing that video. I wasn't feeling well the night before, so I didn't edit it at night. I went to sleep. And then when I woke up in the morning, I started editing, editing it. And I hate editing during the day. Because there's so much going on with kids and everything. And I physically, like, I, I can't put my mind to it. So yeah, I made a mistake. And I exposed my parents address and then two people commented saying that hey we can see your parents address blah 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 so i was like oh damn so anyways i straight away privatized the video and on youtube studio you can edit the video whilst it's still there so i did the edit, uh, blur option and oh my god it's a bit technical and by the way it's still processing right now I love grilled chicken, so yummy. But yeah, anyways, so I wanted to read out the comments on the video. Ready? I wanted to read out all the comments on my vlog 17, day 17, where we talk about how to deal with in-laws. So yeah, I really wanted to read all them out. I'm sorry. Mmm, this is so nice. So, somebody has written, but first Chai has written. By the way, thank you so much, but first Chai. You're always commenting on my videos and they're really really nice comments and i really appreciate it so she's written my mother-in-law is not very understanding and nice if anything i get really bad anxiety and i'm always scared around her because of her unpredictable moods that is really sad that you have to go through that that is really really sad and really annoying like it just makes me angry you should you should be able to live without fear and constant anxiety do you know what i'm saying it's just not fair not fair at all and then alpha frida commented down below same oh my god how much i can relate to this and then someone wrote, wrote oh no may god make it easy for you okay and then saira begum wrote wow mashallah that is such an achievement to live with your in-laws for 10 years you have a lot of patience and contentment. May Allah reward you. Also, it's so nice to see you eat real food. <laughs> and something other than air fried chicken, lol. Well done, Seema. Yes, I know. I'm going to give that a like and the other one a like. Thank you. Mmm.
but first try again roll oh my god my older sister-in-law does not see me like a little sister she acts jealous and competitive um i'd love to have that mentor in my life that's really sad that's really sad i don't understand why people are so horrible to each other Why? I just don't get it. Like, what do you get out of it? Just look. Why be jealous? Leah BB wrote, Both of you sisters are the sweetest. You gave some lovely advice and I strongly agree. Being married for 13 years, Alhamdulillah. I do, always, I do agree. Always be yourself. 100%. 110% mate So RB has written, the accuracy of this video could listen to you and your sister all day. I honestly wish I had someone to tell me this over 10 years ago. Maybe life would have been a bit easier at the in-laws. Youngsters take note. Wow. That's actually so cool. I didn't think that a lot of people would think like this or think like that of our video. Sultana Chaudhuro, I've been married and still living with the in-laws, been nearly 20 years. Wow, how are you girl? Alhamdulillah, I've been good. it's been a good experience mainly. My in-laws were easy going. I managed, I managed working, I managed home life, cooking, cleaning, etc. Obviously, there will always be ups and downs. My mentor was my Zal and mother-in-law too. That is so cool, Alhamdulillah. I feel really happy hearing that. Because there's quite a lot of neg negative comments, I'm not going to lie. This one kind of made me giggle a bit. So Fati Fatima X Rob, as they walk over the rubbish, as they walk over the rubbish and make a tea girl, I think I just got fed up of cleaning 15 times a day. No one else contributes. No one else cares. No one else gives a damn. It's literally just me that cleans. And then my husband has the audacity to call me out on it. So I don't bother. Unless my own family or friends come over. It's not worth it. Worth it for me to waste my energy. I have a three-year-old and I'd rather spend my time with him. To be honest, I keep my room clean and keep him entertained in there. I absolutely love that I absolutely love that and you know what you go girl go for it 100% I'm not going to say anything against that at all So Wahida Subhan wrote, just a color hair to you and your sister. Really helpful advice. May Allah reward you both. Thank you so much. Um,
I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Rifat Sadiq written You have very very understandable in-laws and have fear in Allah My mom used to say if your mother-in-law is good your marriage will work and your marriage will be smooth The problem is in-laws don't treat you like daughters Instead some are treated like maids I hear these stories all the time Sorry It's very sad And for those women out there who are struggling he's sure allah has your back it's a very sad chili you have a very good in-laws you're very lucky plus you're a good daughter in law with the right attitude thank you so much thank you it is actually really sad hi asio what's going on what do you want uh some pot noodle not now i'm okay. doing a video so can you okay i'll make it for you later there's no crisps get out <laughs> so yeah like i was saying it is actually sad how daughter-in-laws are treated like rubbish and like they're like the second class citizens of the house it's ridiculous So Dr. T has written, I don't mind living with in-laws for a few days until we get our own place. Only major issue I'm having is external in-laws visiting and staying almost every school holidays. The auntie in-laws come and stay, etc. And also my brother-in-law's wives, they live round the corner and pop by every single weekend or school holiday. They just love gossip, want to be served. I don't do that, so it's quite challenging. Just no space or privacy. Please make dua for me. That's actually really sad. Because you have this, it, again, it's anxiety. You have a constant everyday anxiety. Like, these people are going to come around. You know in the evening, you can't just, like, in the afternoon, you can't just relax. Put your feet up with a cup of tea and watch TV. Because you know you've got these randomers coming in. And that's just so annoying. I can I can imagine like, wow. What do you do? And you can't not open the door. You can't not not smile when they're here. If that makes sense. Shab Khan wrote really lovely vlog and sensible advice. You should do more advice videos, as people could send in their dilemmas so that's given me a really really good idea thank you for that suggestion i could actually and i was thinking maybe you guys could email me your dilemmas um or instagram message me whatever you guys want let me know 
that you want to be anonymous as well and i don't know just give me some problems anything marriage related in-laws related and you know what i will try my best to um give you advice as much as i can i don't know if i i'm capable of it but i'll try my best i mean i have been married for nearly 13 years in august i've lived with my in-laws for 10 years so maybe i could give some insight to it i don't know let's see but anyways this is going to be the end of the vlog i'm sorry today's vlog has zero energy guys can you see i haven't done a workout i didn't go to the gym and i feel so rubbish i feel so down today i just i don't know what it is mate i don't know but tomorrow inshallah will be a good day tomorrow i've i'm inviting my in-laws inshallah i haven't told them by the way on the phone yet maybe i should do that i'll call them tomorrow it's fine they, they will call i'm gonna call them tomorrow and tell them come down to my house blah de blah de blah you guys are having iftar at ours i was thinking guys to do it in the garden the iftar because my house is actually kind of small and the garden would be nice like eating on the floor or something i don't know let's see what we do i'm not too sure but um yes anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow inshallah keep me and your family in your duas guys in your prayers and bye bye assalamualaikum